Okay, hi there guys. Today I'm going to be going through restoring to factory defaults um, for the operating system a, a HP netbook which looks like this. Uh, this is the battery pack which is moulded as a, as a foot as you can see at the back there. Uh, just like any other laptop battery pack you've got little uh, locking tabs and release tabs for the battery. You've got a power inlet, you've got um, your screen out button there, you've got USB slots, ear, uh, earphone slots, SD cards, USB um, and Ethernet slots and what have you, but no disk drives. So obviously with one of these, setting it back to factory defaults <coughs> is not as simple as putting in a Windows CD and reinstalling Windows. Uh, what these have instead What these have instead, which I will just uh, show you, if I can get the exposure to work. If we open that up, uh, your Explorer, you'll see what you have is your C drive and then you have a D drive which is titled Recovery. Now that contains all of the files necessary for a complete reinstallation of the base operating system. Uh, just excuse me while I get the uh, exposure back to suitable level there we go now obviously that blanks the screen out a little bit but at least you can see the the netbook so you can see it's it's just like a miniature laptop you've got your touchpad you've got the keyboard with all the functionality that you'd expect from a from a laptop keyboard and it's just in a smaller package so i'm just gonna i'm gonna go ahead right now and focus in on the screen so that you can see what's happening and explain to you the procedure for resetting uh, one of these back to factory defaults so this one needs to be reset back back to defaults uh, so it's ready to use for um, for a new user. So I'll be back in just a second. At this point you can see the screen quite clearly um, and what I'm going to do first of all is restart the computer. So just like your ordinary Windows operating system you just go to shut down and, uh, and we'll shut this down. And then we'll restart it again, as you would with any computer, pressing the F11 key as it starts up. <clears throat> now we'll come up with this Windows is loading files page, as you can see here. And it will run through a procedure where it brings up a screen. which will give you options to format and restore factory settings. So apologies if the screen's gone a little bit dark currently, but uh, we are still there. And the problem when you're trying to film something like this, of course, because the screen is backlit, it's a little bit tricky to, um, to display everything. Now this particular portion Okay, so here we are at the main screen This is the um, HP Recovery Manager which is the built-in tool on here because as because I, as I said before you can't just plug in a CD and go ahead and install so what you've got is a system restore, a system recovery, a minimized image recovery and then you can run checkups, you can run backups and, and so on and so forth now if, um, if you were actually restoring this because of a fault and it was your own machine and you've got data, valuable data on here then ideally what you need to do is run a backup first but it does actually give you that option if you go to system recovery Okay, as you can see here, back up your files first or recover without backing up your files. So you choose an option. You're, you can use your mouse pad at this point. Choose your option, click next. 
It will give you a warning here, all devices should be disconnected from the PC except the keyboard, mouse and monitor. So basically if you've got any external drives, any external hard drives and that kind of thing, it could either cause the recovery to fail or potentially cause problems with uh, corrupting your files on your external drives and such. Welcome to the recovery manager. Uh, use this program to recover your comp computer to its original factory condition. Please detach all external devices, etc, etc. Click on next and it will then run through the procedure of formatting your drive and reinstalling Windows. What this will do is give you a factory fresh reset of the Windows operating system so you will lose all installed software and all of your data that you've saved on here unless it was saved to an external drive so do bear that in mind and make sure you perform a backup if you need to do that. Um, as this works its way through Assuming the battery in my camcorder lasts, what I will do is I will put this on a fast play and, uh, and zoom through it um, as quickly as possible to get back to the setup screen so you can see where we go from here. Essentially, this bit here is just like setting up Windows when you install Windows with a CD on PC. That's uh, back on your, your main screen with your your stock shortcuts, um, some of which you may use, some of which you may not, but you can you can drag and delete these in the recycle bin as you would with uh, with any version of Windows. Um, I'll just open up the Explorer there so you can see you've got your uh, C drive which is virtually empty, just your basic operating system on and you're in your pretty much full recovery drive. If you open up this drive you'll get a warning saying this drive contains um, valuable files for system recovery um, if you alter these files etc etc so do bear that in mind don't don't go into that drive or mess about with those files your C drive is just like any other one with your program files and what have you and from this point on you can configure your internet connectivity uh, down here you can click on there, select which network you'd like to connect to or you can hardwire uh, via an ethernet cable from the port on this side I believe uh, into a hardwired port and set up your internet and then you can just go ahead and download your software. If you've got software to install from CD or DVD you can plug in an external uh, CD or DVD drive and go ahead and do that. So I hope you found this useful. So I just kind of Zoom back out a little on that one and uh, if I can get that to adjust accordingly, there we go. So there you go, there's the uh, the HP um, 110 and 210 series netbook which are a 10.1 inch um, little useful handy carry size netbook uh, with a keyboard. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.